When you're in flow as an INFJ, it feels almost as if you are the center point of the universe. It feels like you are truly one with everything and everyone around you. There is this sense that everything is pulling towards you. The whole world is influenced by your soft nudge. You are a kind of ideal, an example to strive towards. You have kind of set a kind of standard for the world to follow. INFJs, they have this ability to really amass insight, to really uh, draw insight into themselves, to just build up this whole system inside of themselves of everything that is possible in the world, everything humanly possible. You feel that you have thought about everything, you've accounted for every possible variable, you have analyzed every possible situation that could occur or that will occur. You have built up an image or a vision that is so strong, that is so intense, that is so vivid, that it has become real, completely real. INFJs, they are creators that seek to kind of impose on the world their own image, their own perspective, their one true perspective, their one true idea, their one highest ideal. INFJs look at how things could be at their very, very best, the most ideal outcome, the most perfect solution for, for everyone, for every person in the room, for every person in the world, for every uh, person that is to come in the future, for everything that could potentially happen. INFJs seek to really just uh, uh, promote this image, to communicate this image, to convey this image to the world. It's like you have a vision, a message that you want the world to pick up on and to understand that you're just focused on spreading and broadcasting this message to the world. So as an INFJ, often what you do is um, you lead by example. It's one of the most key things about INFJs is they lead by example. They create and they represent this ideal in all their actions, in their words, in how they talk, in how they act, in what they do. INFJs just go into one form of belief or one form of idea and then they do everything they can to represent that idea as perfectly as humanly possible. Now, a lot of the time when um, you talk about ideals and idealism, idealism is slightly unrealistic or sometimes even anti-human. A lot of time, INFJs don't really forgive or accept flaws or shortcomings in themselves. They don't accept uh, the wrong choice of words or the wrong actions or the wrong uh, lifestyle. If it doesn't connect to their vision or their own belief, it um, is rejected, it's not accepted. You do not accept in yourself the potential to uh, sin in accordance with what you believe or think is right. So you don't accept in yourself that you could make mistakes, that you could do things, that you could live in a way that goes against your core beliefs or your core vision or message for the world. As an INFJ in flow, you really a step outside of the world. It's like you're not part of the universe in a sense. It's like you are hovering above it, like from a far distance. You are connected to everything, you are aware of everything, you are 100% in touch with the world and what's happening around you. However, you are unaffected by it. There is the feeling that you are affecting the world, you are the center point of the universe, you are the point that is broadcasting outwards, that is changing the world, but you are not changed by it. The idea of an INFJ is that idea, the judging idea, that judging control uh, of feeling like you are fully in control of everything that's happening around you, but nothing around you has any control over you. Nothing anybody says can stop you. Nothing anybody does can change your course. You are so full in yourself, so fully aware, so fully uh, present in your own mind, so fully sure of yourself, so strong in your vision, so strong in your ideas, that simply nothing can change your course. 
INFJs love this idea of true independence, impossible independence. Obviously, you are affected by other people. Other people's word choices, other people's feelings, other people's actions affect you just as they do anyone. But in flow, it's like you can kind of detach yourself from that influence, detach yourself from all physical control, detach yourself from all physical needs, all emotional needs, all uh, variables that exist outside of you, and that you can focus purely on your own inner universe. The INFJ in flow is so full in their own inner universe, so uh, strong in this idea, is so... Uh, rich in this imagination. They are carrying around a painting with uh, millions of nuances and colors and uh, perfect, uh, uh, everything is perfectly in sync, everything is perfectly in harmony inside. And uh, this feeling that you have this harmony, the feeling that you have this all thought out, all together, that you know where you're going, that you know where you're headed, this is what gives you flow as an INFJ. The feeling that you are torn down by physical urges, by uh, stress from the outside, by uh, people around you tossing or throwing you around, changing your course, uh, constantly causing you to adjust or have to, having to rethink things, that feeling is associated with deep stress as an INFJ. INFJs seek to maintain this uh, uh, perfect system, this perfect a uh, black hole of m mass of ideas, unshakable, perfect, unchanging. And uh, any kind of compromise on this can stress or cause anxiety for an INFJ. INFJs really struggle with ambiguity or loss of vision or loss of purpose or loss of connection to self. Being uh, caught up in other people's games, being caught up in other people's emotions, being uh, tossed around in other people's changing diplomacies and actions and contradictions uh, will really uh, affect you as an INFJ on a negative scale. So as an INFJ, it's important to take need to yourself, to take time to yourself, to allow yourself time to detach and distance yourself from other people and uh, from other situations, emotionally and physically, to be able to uh, disconnect is important. It helps you regain clarity, it helps you maintain, ma maintain sen and to maintain this idea. If you start to doubt yourself or where you're going or where you're headed, often the way forward is not to ask other people for advice but to go inside and to ask yourself for advice because you can figure out where you are and you can find who you are, you can start mapping out your own course, and you can start reconnecting with your vision. You can start uh, going inside and then when you are inside it will become more and more easy to see where you are and where you're headed. Intuition works best in a dark room or when you are as isolated as possible from sensory experiences or from uh, uh, social media, WhatsApp messages and all those things that keep coming in and shaking you up. So if you are being constantly hit by things, new information, new data, new actions, new events, uh, that can really affect you and also uh, physical sensory stimulation can uh, really upset your balance. So be mindful of that and be mindful of when you eat and how you eat and uh, what you do and when you do things uh, so that you can uh, notice when it has a bad influence on you or when it keeps you from flow or from sen or from entering to a state of harmony and balance as an INFJ. Finally, what can you do if you want to uh, connect with your vision and to better understand yourself and to get, become more clear on what you want as an INFJ? What I would recommend is um, going into things that will stimulate you and starting with things that will stimulate you. So start with what is it you want to protect in the world? What is it you want to keep safe? What is it that you value in the world, in other people and in, other, in nature and in things like that? And think about how do I protect that? What can I do to protect and improve that in any way possible? Then think about um, 
magic. Allow yourself to believe in magic or to believe in the impossible or to believe in the unexplainable. So what that means is just because you can't explain something, that doesn't mean it's not worth thinking about. That isn't, doesn't mean it's not uh, pot potentially possible. A lot of time, INFJs can't explain their own ideas and their own inner workings. And when they try, they lose it. So uh, the more you try to explain rationally what you are experiencing and thinking about, the more easy it is to feel like you're losing it, that you're starting to doubt yourself, starting to question yourself. So be mindful of that and allow yourself to have crazy or eccentric or far-fetched ideas that could or could not be true. I would also say allow yourself to have a degree of control over your life and your own actions. So don't compromise too much on your own needs and your own actions and what you want for other people. So in that sense, uh, allow yourself to have your own feelings, allow yourself to have your own uh, beliefs, allow yourself to have your own lifestyle or your own actions and hobbies and interests that are apart from what other people want you to do. Uh, because that can also really help uh, make sure that you stay connected to yourself and that you are picking up on your own frequency, not just the frequency of other people. That's it about INFJs. Thank you all for watching and hope to see you all in the next video.